We're at the um, 17 Coles Lost Road Trail. We're going to go down Lost Road, take a connector jumper over to a horse trail for just a little bit over to, uh, let me get the right name out. Let's not mess with this because got a map point lookout trail and we're going to go out to the point and perhaps maybe to the lake i don't know for sure yet let's go those may be crow not the indians but the bird Most of the trees are bare slash naked. All their clothes are on the ground for me to walk on. I wonder if they'll see any deer today. I am just a touch late getting out today. Good reason. Walmart pickup is at two to three. This is what I like about this time of the year. You can see these rocks that you really can't see during the summer when everything's all leafed out. You don't get to see way off in the distance. Which means the animals can see you from way off in the distance. <laughs> and just to get everything done, I've done the map thing already. Let's do the other other bit. You're in the wilderness. All the normal wilderness things are out here. Trees, tree limbs, animals, various kinds. I've said before about coyotes, I wanna explain that. Coyotes follow food. Deer's out here, coyotes are out here. Well, they cut this tree out. Remember some time ago on a hike here, there was a tree we had to duck? Don't have to duck it anymore. Got this one out too. We're in a flat area. If the trees were gone, it'd be a meadow. Do another 360 because I can. Oh, also we are in on the Hohem gimbal program that uses the base camera, which is the iPhone 12 camera. And see. They cut this one up too, got this one out of the way. Look at the valleys. I'm calling them valleys. Ravines. Water rushes down through here and around. It eventually gets out the Lake Cherokee. This is beautiful. All these rocks, 
rock structures, snags. Nurse logs, nurse trees, I can remember which now. Laying all over the place, look. But we're making our own trail today. We're using existing to, to create a different enjoyment. And that is the north side of the tree, of the rock, I mean. You could build a fire there back in the old days before it became a park. You could build a fire in there and if the trees are right, you could pitch a, a sling, whatever. Just up over here, I got a little chance. To look out across the area, it just looks beautiful. Okay. That way to the sinkhole, this way to the lost road. That's not where we want to go. We want to go that way. Lost Road, right up through there. You you eventually ca interconnect with the ore mine. It was 26, 27 degrees this morning. Frosty, pretty good out. So the gardens are pretty much gone now in this area. Trees are getting very, very naked. The lake's down for the winter. Part of the reason we're going. Here we go. See now. I don't know what's up there. I've never been that way. We're wanting to go over here. So we have to go this way to find the jumper. You to go continue right for the jumper, you take left to sinkhole. That's something you don't hear here very often, an airplane. There is an airport, Morristown Airport, just south of us here. But normally what you hear if the wind's right is boats out on Lake Cherokee. I like these right now. The views distance wise it's fabulous look out see the structure that squirrely tree right there we'll be coming back this way it's an out and back we're trying to get right over here there's a little jumper tr connector trail we're coming up close to it now
I remembered I have a, uh, a, a side pocket on my ba orange backpack that I can put a water bottle in. Huh. I completely forgot. Now I want to show you something. You see, that's the trail. That's not the trail. That's the trail. There should be two blazes on that pointing either direction. People actually went up that way. I did it once. I thought that's where the trail was. I forgot that it wasn't. Let's stop. You can see it? That's the, that's the horse connected to Crest Trail that's closed. Too many trees down. I don't know when they're gonna open it. They may never open it again, I don't know. Let's do another little 360 here. Because I just, the, the amount of rocks and the trees tr growing out of these rocks, it took decades to do all this. There's that sign. Here's a wicked little tree right here. And I don't mean wicked and bad, I mean it's wickedly wonderful. It's a snag. We, uh, sinkhole trails up there is up there. We aren't on the sinkhole trail. We're on the bypass connector trail now. Wow. I didn't see it. I probably would have seen it coming from the other direction where it connects onto here. Yeah, see? We're going right down there. This is uh, more of a water runoff than it is a trail. People have walked down it and made a man way out of it. At this kind of temperature, I'm not concerned about snakes, trolls and leprechauns. I am concerned about slick leaves though. And here we are. And we're wanting to go this way. Yeah, this is where we want, right up here. We got a trash can up here. This is the horse connector to the trail up here. Yeah, see, I should have came in this one. I turned wrong someplace. Point, look out, loop. Going up that way. This is a non-horse trail, this is a 
hiker. I don't think this is mountain bike. I think it's hiking only. We will come to a fork in the road where we're gonna take a right. The main trail goes left. But we're gonna take a right and it will take us to the overlook. Last time I was here, you couldn't see much. It was all greened in. Yeah, white hiking. Not yellow, not red, it's white. Great views. There are some old blazing still here in places in the park. That's uh, probably original. Remember, right there's a sign up here someplace that tells us to make the right, to stay right. Here we come. We're coming to it now. I've been that way before. I need to do that again. I need to make plans to do that again. It's beautiful here. I know I say that all the time, but it is. It's beautiful here. What's well, strange, there are places here that the main trail Back to, to, to that part of the trailhead. It's like 10, 15 foot to our left. Down, 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 down to the lake. We are basically on a peak, ridgeline, I mean. Now, the trail's right over there. The loop part. Excuse me. Hell, yeah, see, this is what you can't see during the summer. You can't see the lake. You can probably see this, this rock and this end of a log tree that is now down nursing wildlife bugs and other animals have a place to live something to eat nourishment The advantage of being on a ridge line is you can look down 
into the uh, ravines, valleys, crevices. There were some birds in front of me, some little ones, some big ones. I think one of them's a robin. We're gonna end up way over there. Great view. Big old squirrely whirly up there. Trees have fallen, busted. So here's an example. Been looking for one to show you. Here, that Sasquatch did not bend the tree over. See this tree? See the growing up there? Let's follow this around a bit. See how this tree fell and got it to the ground? At some time, this tree will rot away enough where this tree will spring back up and people will think, oh, Sasquatch did that. No, here's a tree that did it. I'm not saying Sasquatch doesn't do that. What I'm saying is more than likely it was a tree falling on a, a snag falling on a live tree, holding it down until it disintegrates enough. And then you have See, they cut this one not long ago. This one fell. That right there, that chunk is a nice enough firewood to heat a house for two days. Okay. It's moved. It was It was over here. And that actually points the other way. Okay. See we're at the top of the ridge line, a little bit more there. We came across through there. That looks like an evergreen that has snagged. Let's head towards the lake. I may not go all the way. Yeah, I'm going to go all the way. You know that. If it's a half mile down there, I think if it is, I have to go from up here to down there. I wanted to do a check. We're at 1250 elevation. That means we're almost 13 and we, we'd come down a little bit, maybe 10 foot. So it's about 1260. The uh, compass on an iPhone has an elevation on it. It's a GPS elevation. It's not an actual, actual elevation. But we can get a general idea of the climb. How, how much gain we're going to have to come back up. Yeah, see, we're still going downhill pretty good. I'm, I'm having to control myself. Ah, uh, snags. Little maker snags. We're getting closer and closer to the lake. Now this is a, a, a finger out to the lake.
it's strenuous to go back up. It's death-defying to go down. Well, Terrence, you're just going down a hill. How dangerous is that? You can lose control of your descent. And the next thing you know, you're trying to run because you can't slow down. And you will trip. You'll break something. You may spear yourself onto something. You're out in the wilderness, remember? You have to, you have to be prepared for everything. So you have to be prepared to, to control your ascent as well as your descent. And I'm 72 now, so I've got to be super careful. It's not good to have a broke hip out here. I don't know if they sell service to get help. I don't know when the next person will be coming out this way. I could die from exposure. I did send my wife a message that she got telling her exactly what my plans were. If I'm not back by dark, she can call the Rangers 911 and let them know where the man in orange is. I always leave a text message that way she has it to show the authorities what time of day it was sent and where I'm planning on being I basically don't deviate I did today because I thought I was following the, the right trail and I wasn't but it was the right trail it got me here didn't it A lot of water, beautiful water. When we get down to the water edge, we'll do another GPS elevation read and what we got yeah we're getting real close now i can see water off the end of the section but this is gonna be a hard one to come back up i'll take a break agua and take my time Too many life things going on. See, these trees aren't, all the leaves aren't off yet. They aren't naked yet. Yeah, we have to go back up there. Here we go, we're almost to the lake. Let's see if we can get down on the beach. We've come this far, might as well go to the beach. Wow, let's just stop. Let's have some looks, looky lookies. Rutledge is up that way. Wow.
That's the problem with uh, vacationers coming in and wanting to go fishing in there and brought their boat. <sighs> See? That's underwater at times. I forgot about the zoom on this. Okay, let's see if we can get down. The big thing is getting down is where I'll be able to get back up, I hope. Okay, we're on the beach. The thing of it is, I'm a 5'9", and my head's underwater right now during the summer. Let's go clear down to the water's edge and then I'll check the compass for the GPS elevation. Okay, we're here and the lake is still deep. Let's do a uh, 360 turnaround. Look at how beautiful it is. Can you imagine what this would look like in this October with the trees at full color? If the lake was down like this. Yep, we gotta go back up there. The dam is way down there. Sorry, I went a little fast there, but I want to zoom in a little bit. Get a slightly better look. Okay. Okay. 1040. It was almost 13. 1050, uh, 1250. 1260, yep. Fish jumped right out there, had my back to it. <laughs> 